Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface on the beta for Warlords of Draenor. Now a few people have been asking me, is archaeology going to be more of the same in Warlords or is it going to be a little bit different? And the reason why they hinted at a little bit different is because some people watched my Garrison 101 video on your Garrison Mine. Because if you attached a follower to it, you could suddenly produce minecarts. If you looted these minecarts, you'd get ore and stuff like that which you could utilize within your garrison as well as some archaeology fragments which kind of lent the fact that there might be more than one way with which to gather them in this expansion and the simple answer is yes there is more than one way first of all you have your classic way which i'm doing right now you're sticking down your survey tool you're finding the archaeological uh, item and then you're looting it like we've always done in the past then you have the fragments which are hidden in your mine and you're going to see in the video a little later on there's also some other ways too but first things first how how do we actually push archaeology on? I'm stuck at 600, so I'm not getting any points at the moment. Well, just briefly, when you start your archaeological digging in the new expansion, you should come across one of these pretty quickly. The Brittle Cartography Journal, because it doesn't look like trainers are going to teach you how to boost things like archaeology, um, first aid, cooking, stuff like that. You actually have to find these little journals, either on mobs or in this case, by digging. So how can I get some additional fragments to help me? This is Spires of Iraq. You could see just down at the south there, there is actually an archaeology dig site. But on my mini-map, and I'm way up north here, you see that little yellow dot. That is an outcast's cache, and I'm off to find it. But to get to it, it's not that simple. It's not just drifting on the floor or anything like that. No, we've got one of these platforming elements which Blizzard have introduced into the game. I like this a lot. I know some people aren't a big fan of the platforming elements. I personally think they're brilliant. I just think it's a nice little distraction and a great little way to find something a wee bit different. So using these tight ropes which seem to be attached from tree to tree, notice the relics of the outcast cache just snuck at the top of the tree there. Isn't that rather cute? Has that faint purple glow around it, which means this is interactable and this is special. And if I right click onto it, there. 45 Arakoa fragments and also two Arakoa ciphers. Now those ciphers are used to booster uh, the amount of fragments which you get when you're trying to put together a find. They're quite rare to come by but they drop very nicely in these outcast caches so try and find them scattered around this zone. It only appears to be in Spies of Iraq. So if I just go uh, to the Arakoa uh, archaeology site there. Look, I've got uh, a, a rare item on the go. I didn't quite have enough to complete it, so I'm just going to scooch the footage on after I found a couple more of those caches. And look, I'm going to make the Beak Breaker of Tarok, and this is a bind on account item. Item level 620, which just to put in perspective, folks, is the highest item level that your heroic uh, Warlords of Draenor heirloom weapon will get to at level 100, but this is usable at level 91. It's also got strength, agility, and stamina attached to it as main stats, and crit and mastery as secondary stats to it. So that is going to be a really awesome item to use if you learn it pretty early on in the game. And we've seen these bind on account items in Miss of Pandaria. Sadly, though, when you've got this spined on the count item, if you're finding other stuff, it operates as it does in Mists of Pandaria, which means when you construct the archaeological find, you can either turn it into a crate, hand it into the archaeology vendor at Ashran, and they will convert it into other fragments, Night Elf, uh, Drunai, etc, etc, or you simply sell it to a vendor for one gold, which is a bit dull. I really wish they would keep the old method that was in Cataclysm, where you found stuff which was worth 20 gold, and 30 gold, and 10 gold, and 50 gold, or 100 gold plus. It was just a lot more cool. Or maybe even some mounts and pets, Blizzard? I think we've had this discussion. Anywho, what I did is I counted the amount of times I could use one of the dig sites. And I actually counted, instead of the six, which we have currently, I discovered that you can now dig up to ten times 
in one of the site areas, which is a significant increase, which means, of course, you can get more fragments from the areas that you're in. That bit I liked rather a lot. Now, I've just put together one of the regular items which I've found. In fact, I've had enough fragments to create two. What I did notice then is when I looked in my inventory, one of them produced a quest. Now, we've had this before again in Mr. Pandaria. It's a special item. You accept the quest. You get three restored fragments and an ogre missive. This is, of course, one of those things like the Arakoa ciphers, which I discovered earlier. And then you would hand it in to Law Walker Cho and he would put a nice little precious item in that position above um, Mogushan Palace. But of course, there is no Mogushan Palace or Law Walker Cho in Warlords of Draenor. So what happens when you hand this quest in? And this was rather cool. I hearth back to my garrison, and in your garrison, in your town hall, there's actually a back room which seems rather barren and bare, but does have these plinths on the ground. You take the item here, and this room becomes your own trophy room within your garrison. Look at that. I put it down and it's produced a little stone statue of an ogre. I don't know if it's carrying or it's going to throw the cleft tooth, but either way, it looks pretty darn funky. So archaeology, yes, there are a couple more ways to get fragments. Yes, you've got the classic bind on account weapons, which we've had before. Not sure about pets and mounts. Be very disappointed if there isn't. But it's still hopefully got potential for the future. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. All those links are in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.